black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, but yo, for real, like just shit like this though. How good, like just these trees, even right in this yard, like it's just so dope, so beauty. Don't you think? I think. These little red guys. But this shit is just everywhere right now. She nice. Well, I'm here. The order has been placed. I'm now waiting 10 minutes. I'm back in the car, and uh, I just would like to say that the route that I took here didn't afford me very many scenic trees or anything such as that, so, you know, a bit of a letdown, but uh, I'll make up for it in another video at some time. Okay, I can't wait to eat this. I got a couple. I got probably, you know, I got a burger situation that's pretty expected, and then another little mystery item that I saw on the menu when I went in there that I could not deny that I had to have, so we'll see that momentarily. It's, the sack is secured, but we are racing the daylight. All right, it is legit evening time, so a different uh, vibe in this vid for sure. I didn't think the uh, sun was gonna dip that quick, but I do have these overheads just in case, so maybe I'll pop those on if necessary, but for now, I think we're all good with how much natural light we have. So, I got it. Smelling good, service, decent. Took quite a while though. I feel like she said it would be 10 minutes. It felt like it took like 25, <laughs> but whatever. I get it. Okay, fat sack of fries. Those are definitely like hand cut homemades. That's for sure, right off rip. Burger wrapped up in a standard wrapper. And the secret that I was telling you all about, I'll show you that in a second. It is very piping hot to the touch, so that's already one good thing. All right, a quick scan of the burger. Lettuce, tomato, pickle, caramelized onion, that cheese. She's greasy, she's sloppy, she's a little wet. She looks like she's going to be good and it uh, it's looking pretty proper but uh, kind of sloppy but I guess burgers should be right. Okay next up I just want to crack into it was this item I saw a buffalo chicken grilled cheese. So I want to look inside real quick but it just seems that it's two buffalo chicken tenders in a grilled cheese sandwich. So we'll see how that is. This burger is dripping juices everywhere already, but we gotta bring you in for the real thing, right? That up close mouth cam. Okay, they're not playing. It ain't no joke. So, a couple things to note. The beef is very, very good. Very soft, very tender, very fatty, very like juicy, flavorful. Cheese is really good. I'm about to get into that pickle bite, that tomato pickle bite. Mmm. 
I just got into the signature sauce. The caramelized onions are a little bit lost. I personally wish there was a little more sauce. The bun is like a Kaiser bun. Strange choice for a burger, but uh, unexpectedly is working quite well. I just hit a pocket of the uh, caramelized onions and got a full smack in the, in the taste buds with those. Very reminiscent to me of a Five Guys burger. If you've ever had Five Guys, you will you would kind of see how this would. Resonate. <laughs> Resonate. Okay. I've been smashing on that for enough time. I'm definitely going to finish that though. That's good. Pepsi Zero. Got to wet the appetite. Before we end up in that chicken. I do want to get to these fries just as a trial while they're hot. Very, very just classic hand cut homemade fries. They get props for having the best ketchup in the league. Sunspun, cats up. Sunspun, bar none, hands down, makes my favorite ketchup. Without a doubt. The fries are quite good. I just have to say that I'm a fan. Of faker fries the home style ones with the thick cut the more rustic home style thick cut that get really dark on the outside not really my favorite type of fry I like a crispy thin golden McDonald's type fry okay buffalo chicken grilled cheese that looks so suspect. <laughs> uh, I'm bummed because they said it was served with blue cheese or ranch. And I don't know. It doesn't seem like either of those is on it. And I didn't get like a side dip of anything. I would love some ranch though. I'm not sure yet. Very buttery exterior. The tenders look pretty quality. Shout out Texas Toast, Square Toast. I always, I, I really dig Texas Toast. Cheese a little bit, a little bit lost in there. The buttery toast is really powerful. Buffalo sauce, it's there, it's not crazy. Buffalo sauce is pretty mild, like it's not very insanely hot. 
Uh, it's not super prominent either. Ultimately, this is just buttery and salty. Um, really needed the ranch though, I would say. Mm -hmm. Hope you're able to enjoy it to some extent, even though you're never gonna get to eat here unless you travel to Thunder Bay, Ontario. <laughs> Okay, until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.